We have two recipes that will be perfect for your 4th of July party or anytime this summer. The hardest part is deciding which one to make. And Cox Eastis is here from Kroger with new ideas for ice cream pies. Right, these are relatively easy. Mm -hmm. We, I, I did take the easy way and I bought the chocolate crust already made lately. Okay. So I took one step out of that. But I've got a quart of vanilla ice cream and there's all kinds of vanillas, plain, real vanilla, and French vanilla and everything. This is just regular old, um, vanilla. Okay. And I've, I, if you will put, I've got three fourths of a cup of, of crunchy peanut butter. If you'll put crunchy that in peanut here, butter, uh, okay. and stir it real good in there. All right. And you could use plain if you wanted to, but I like the crunch of it in the pie itself. So that's three fourths, right. three fourths cup of crumbs. Fresher crumb. than a just a fresh yep. jar of Skippy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Stir it Alrighty. all up in there, and then um, I have whipped some a half cup of whipping cream. No sugar or anything added to that. Okay. You, you get all that stirred okay. up real, real good, and then we're going to fold this in. And the reason we're going to fold it in is it's going to add a little bit of uh, lightness to it. So I'm going to put this in and then I'm going to show you how to fold in, okay? Okay. What we do is we just take the spatula and gradually fold it in. Ah, See how I you're doing you. it like yeah. that? You just uh, are keeping the light, airy consistency of the whipping cream so that it's mm -hmm. not um, quite as thick. Now this, these pies are not what you would want to eat on a diet. <laughs> but but every now and then you can splurge. You don't have to be exactly, perfect all yes. the time. Uh -huh. I'm gonna let you pour that into the pie shell. All right. So has this one uh, gotten the family seal of approval? Yes, actually both of them have. I was surprised the caramel one got as big of an approval as it did. Now if you want to sprinkle some chopped peanuts on top. Okay. And then drizzle some um, chocolate syrup on top and I know how you like chocolate so that's why I got the chocolate crust I figured most, <laughs> most people would like chocolate and uh, peanut butter no matter what you did yeah. and we'll stick this in the freezer and let it firm and up, let it and harden up. we got it well it, it's starting to come out so we'll start with the chocolate <laughs> there but you get the idea on that one so the difference here uh, on uh, the I one. made this crust okay that, that's one of the difference so I put it in a pie plate I took brown sugar flour um, nuts and I um, mixed it up together and I uh, patted it out on a, a baking pan, baked it 10 minutes, and then I put it in a mixing bowl and crumbled it up. And then I pressed it into the pie plate and I, I put a half a jar of caramel sauce on top of it okay. and froze it. Then I took my softened ice cream, once again a quart, put that on top, froze that, and then I came back and I'd saved some of the crumbles here. In fact, if you want to sprinkle a few more on, you can, right. of the crumbles of the pie crust and put that on top right, and, and the super, caramel we sauce. We are ready to go. Yeah, it's delicious. All right. Thank you as always for being My with us. Uh, after the show, we'll have recipes for both pies online at newschannel5.com in the Talk of the Town section. Now let's head out to Tawanda.